What up you beauties? It's kind of been a while. So let's go through how to put a roof rack on. Today we're installing the Thule Upright, which is one of the ones that honestly, when I was looking at them online, I couldn't resist. The biggest thing for me is it only holds onto the wheel and that's all you really have to worry about. But you don't really have to worry about your wheels because you beat them up on the road anyway. <laughs> anyway, let's get to it. We're gonna go through hardware first and then we're gonna slap this bad boy on the roof. All right, so in terms of hardware, well, as expected, they give you everything. Okay, so simply put for what we're doing today, um, I don't really need these pieces really at, at all, unfortunately. But the big one here is we've got our three levers, piece of rubber, and three of these guys, and three of these as well. That's really the concern. Now you'll notice that there's two that are stupid long in comparison to the other one, but the big thing there, this one belongs in the back, and these two are gonna be going up to the front. I'm gonna go through the track bars, really. That's what I've got on mine, so that's what we're gonna focus on. So on this strap here, we've got a lovely piece of rubber to protect our wheel once it's on. So we're gonna slide this guy on here, and that's all good. And then it ratchets just in here. Nice and easy, ratchets and releases. Now, the other one here that we're gonna put on while we're over here is this guy right in here. Now, this is the one where we want the short one here, and then you'll notice on these that they are slightly different as well. So you've got two which are slightly longer, which again in this case are gonna be belonging in the front, and there's one that is slightly shorter, which is the one belonging in the back. So, for me here, I'm coming through this hole right in the middle, dropping that in, and then these are what's gonna end up threading onto them. And it allows us to keep our tension and to well, secure the roof rack onto the roof. Sorry, the roof, roof rack accessory, if you will, onto the roof rack. Okay, so in terms of getting this onto these, we're feeding them into here, popping it down, twirling away, just to get it starting to thread, because you still want to leave them loose to be able to get it onto well, the roof rack itself. So that's on there and that's all good. Now we're gonna move up to the front. Now we will notice that the front of this here is quite a bit more busy, but that's pretty easy. We just flip this out of our way and we've got all the room in the world. So in terms of these guys, well, they're going right through, right, right through here. So this guy, if we flip it over, we're dropping this right into there and this one right into here. Okay, so now we're gonna jump back into these guys. So we wanna keep this in mind. Really, the one that we can lock is right here. So the lock is gonna end up going right into this little slot in here. So this one here is the one with the hole in it, which has other room for a lock. And these, we're gonna to wanna to line up so the hole, when we're going through, the hole itself that we're threading into is facing down, just giving us absolute access to it for threading it on in the beginning. That one's on, no problem. Same thing for the other one here. And, spin it to win it. So here we go, putting it on the roof. We're simply opening up our clamps here to let the hardware droop down. And I'm just gonna flip around your camera angle so you can see this going in. So what we're really aiming for here is our hardware that's drooping down, is sliding right into the rail. So spin that around here. And now if I pull up a little bit, I know that one's in. Spin that around. Twist a little bit. And that should slide in as well, once straightened out there. So that guy slides right in the track as well. Now we're gonna jump to the back. So this is really where a bit of a pivot will come into play. So it doesn't have to be straight yet. It's not on the roof completely. 
So this one's drooping down and we're really again just aiming for our track. And now we're ready for tension. Just spinning him down and you don't know have to go crazy. Like that was actually too much and that's still too much. Still too much, it's too aggressive. So now let's get into putting a bike on it. First things first, this bar is gonna swing up. This is the one where you wanna be checking this little window in here. You pull this tab out, slide this up, and you'll see values pop into place. Now with regards to what we're putting on here today, my single speed, the 28, 27, 5, 26 is perfectly fine. Now that we've got that on there, we can put the bike on. So what we're really focusing on here is getting the front wheel just in place. The back wheel can sit on the roof rack or right beside the uh, tray, it doesn't really matter. Now that we've got the front wheel in place, we lift the back, come to the other side or whichever side the strap is on for you, put the strap through the wheel, lift it up, and we've got that somewhat aligned. Now, this one here is nice and easy. Push this guy in, pull back, push up, eventually. Listen for the big pop, which is right there. And now that we know that it's in the right spot, this ratchet holds it right in place. And now that that's done, we can swing over to the ratchet strap in the back. So for this ratchet strap here, situate it right underneath the wheel, slides in sideways more or less. You can feed a lot of it through, then you only have to ratchet a little bit. But, there it is. Well, that's that. In terms of those roof racks, those trays themselves, they are lockable as well. You've got the one to lock it right to it. And actually, what I missed altogether to go through is there's a lock that comes out of the back as well. And really, at the end of the day, for what I've had for luck so far, absolutely fabulous in terms of the products in general. One that I would highly recommend if you are looking to be using your phone, for instance, as a GPS, is this mount itself. And well, I've posted that video a while ago. I've had this for a year now, I believe, maybe a little longer, maybe a little less, but at the end of the day, it still works just fine. And let's just say I've hit some pretty bumpy roads and my phone has not fallen out. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you when I see you, which will hopefully be on a bike.